I'll begin a message series today over the next four weeks. It's called New Year's Essentials. The things that we need to essentially have as we move into the new year. For example, things like how do we develop our faith to be able to meet the challenges of our life so that our faith can cultivate hope in our hearts. No one knows what 2022 will bring. Certainly it will have its challenges, but how do we grow spiritually? What are the essentials we need to be able to do that? Jerry Bridges, in his book, Trusting God, said this, God's unfailing love for us is an objective fact. It's affirmed over and over in the scriptures, whether you believe it or not. Our doubts do not destroy God's love. Our faith doesn't create it. The first New Year essential is that we freshly encounter and experience God's love for us through His Son. It's reliable. It's faithful. It's an anchor for our life. We are meant to have a confidence and assurance and conviction of that love for us. It helps us meet the challenges of the new year. We can look at the new year with expectancy and with an optimism and a thankfulness rather than a form of anxiety and trepidation. The second new year essential is releasing shame in our life. Dr. Brené Brown, a PhD, has done a lot of work and study in this area of shame, and she said that shame is uh, oftentimes a dominant emotion in people's lives. In fact, she said it's even more dominant than fear or anger or anxiety or grief. This is how she defines shame. Shame is the intensely painful feeling or experience of believing we're flawed and therefore unworthy of acceptance and belonging. What I wanted to say, shame has more to do with how we think of ourselves, how we feel about ourselves, than actually what we do. She says, in the midst of the wrong actions or thoughts or behavior, shame works its way into the very depths of our soul and creates a turning of ourselves against ourselves. We release shame in our life at the cross. That's where we discover that his love for us is reliable and tender is not based on our performance or our moves. It's based on his character and his nature, which is always reliable and tender towards us. If we're going to move forward in 2022, we need to release our lives from shame because it can hold us back and paralyze us. And it's at the cross that we discover the love that can free our hearts.